This is an excellent uh, work platform. It's the strong back which the boat was originally built on. So it's strong and flat, but it's heavy and uh, I would like to be able to move it around some. And so I can get to places much easier. Moving this from one side to the other is a hell of a lot of work. So this thing is still quite heavy, but this is manageable. And uh, these little platforms I have below here can be lowered a lot. And uh, doing this allows me to move these platforms around so I can get to shaping the bow properly and more importantly right now they'll provide a work table for me for laying up glass when I'm doing these uh, three remaining seams I have the two seams bridge deck to hull remaining and uh, the last external seam is uh, along the port hull here. So, I'll have a work table. Well, several. <laughs> several smaller ones now. And uh, that will be really good. Uh, it'll make life easier. Well, I have just laid up glass for my first structural joint. After getting rid of the bottom fairing and uh, sanding down the hull, preparing the surfaces, I've laid up uh, 20 a 10 400 gram bio and uh, peel ply. So it's the first time I'm using peel ply, it's, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And uh, this is supposed to be a fairly easy joint, but this is a lot of weight in glass, so <laughs> we'll see how easy it is. First I'll do a tiny, the tiniest bit of filling. There's some uh, a few cracks here in the fairing or glue and uh, they're not a structural problem by any means but they will trap air and uh, that will be an issue when wetting out the glass so I want to try and avoid that if I can so I'll do that So, oh, my first structural glasswork, <laughs> and I chose the longest piece of glass I have ever lain in my entire life. Uh, it's like building a kayak in one go, and you don't have time. Uh, so, I ran out of batteries on the GoPro and just continued. Sorry about that, you won't be seeing the... Uh, the end of uh, this glass laying. It was, yeah, I made a few mistakes that made it harder for me to get it, get the glass on. But it's there, and it's got peel ply on it. Never worked with peel ply before, and I have no idea if I did this right or or not. But I don't think that'll matter much. It'll just mean more sanding if I if I didn't quite get it right and it looks like I didn't get it quite right all the way, but This is now 
a solid port hull. I have two solid hulls. That's a good start for a catamaran. I'll uh, take what I learned here and uh, try to remember that for laying glass upside down, which is uh, probably not going to be any easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be fine. Pretty happy about the day's project. Yesterday I managed <laughs> just barely to uh take this seam. Uh I'm pretty happy with the results though. Uh, this is uh, probably quite a bit too much epoxy here there's been on quite a few runs and today more epoxy work um, I'll uh, clean up these uh, daggerboard cases and uh, glue them in with uh, yeah tape them in so more fiberglass work top and bottom both sides uh, first some sanding <laughs> surprise the tops of the cases have already been prepared for uh, for gluing in I'll round these edges off a little bit more and, and uh, yeah uh, that should make it easier for me to to get a good bond I only have a few millimeters to play with here, so I really don't want to put up too much glass. So I'll uh, I'll try to make this. I have three millimeters. Each layer lays up half a millimeter. I need two layers on each side. That's one millimeter each side. Then I only have one to play with. So. I'm hoping the board is small enough. I'm ready to glass in the uh, dagger board cases. Well, the top of them, at least. I've made a few mistakes while cutting glass today. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll use the other glass for some other project. but. I've laid up all my glass here and I'll see what I do with the back ends of each case because uh, there's going to be a lot of glass and that's a high bubble risk place so uh, I'll see how it goes. If it lays down really well I'll, I'll just toss in a piece there as well. Uh, well, the two pieces that are supposed to be there. Uh, if I have any issues I'll just wait and get to it uh, tomorrow. The port side here didn't quite go as planned, but uh, it's in there and uh, I'm glad I didn't try to put any glass in the aft end of this uh, hole because, yeah, that would have been really difficult. I'll, I'll add some uh, tomorrow. I'll uh, see how it goes with the starboard side. I'll work from up here instead and maybe that'll help. Yeah, it'll work. I'm not worried about the structure. It's, uh, it's just not pretty. I've <laughs> glued in the top of both uh, daggerboard cases. It's not pretty, but uh, It'll hold, and uh, yeah, it's not easy to do all this, <laughs> and I'm learning as I go, but yeah, a lot more difficult than I thought it would be, those daggerboard cases, but top is done, the bottom will be fantastic. 
this is what the bottom of the daggerboard case looks like. I need to sand this down a bit before I can glass it. And now that I've glassed upstairs, I, uh, I feel the dust would probably get stuck in the not so cured epoxy. So I'll, I'll wait. And honestly, I'm not looking forward to sticking my head under this boat and lying on the floor and sanding. <laughs> But it has to be done, so it will be. Uh, I'll start on that tomorrow. So this is uh, no fun at all. Uh, look at me, <laughs> just covered in all sorts of grime and. Uh, yeah, I'm finished with the machine shaping. I'll, I'll do some more hand shaping to make it better. Uh, this is, yeah, not, not at all enjoyable. But there's some good news. Since this is a catamaran, I only have to do it once more. <laughs> okay. Then uh, now the uh, bottoms of the dagger boards are decored. So now I just have to fill them up again with, uh, yeah, fiberglass and stuff. Okay, I made this mess of filler yesterday and it's time to start sanding it, making it into a nice shape to, f to have the glass flow around. Seems solid enough, and uh, yeah, it'll be some fun sanding. I'm done lying in the gravel and sanding today, so I just can't do any more sanding, it's too boring right now. And yeah, I'm done actually, so. And I've cut up all my glass for tomorrow. It's packed down here. And I'll play around in the gravel and try to keep keep all that glass clean. That'll be fun. But because I'm tired of sanding and fiberglass right now, I'm going to cut up this steering position. Chop it up and mock it up the way I think I want it. Something fun for a change. I had a few minutes to spare and I couldn't help myself. The roof chop has begun. <laughs> Bit early perhaps, but uh, that tiger saw made quick work out of this first cut. Fantastic. It's coming down. <laughs> this place is a mess now, but uh, yeah, we made a start. Uh, a mock up of where the steering will go and a better view of the space that will be here once this is gone. It'll be a much better space. Even if I put seating here, and I will, I'll, I'll have to. Uh, I need a good space for my batteries. And this would be it. Access only from inside, and uh, yeah, I think very central location, close to both engine rooms and a fairly good path to run the cables as well. So I think maybe the best solution. Uh, but I'll reconsider that once I have everything in place and, and mocked up some furniture here. There sh should be plenty of empty space on board. Uh, problem is where that space is. 
I'm not particularly looking forward to the job I have today. Ah. I'll be lying down here glassing these dagger board cases in. Not fun, but it needs to be done, of course. Dagger board cases are tabbed in place now, uh, both upside and down, so no more lying in the gravel getting uh, epoxy in your hair. <laughs> well, for a while at least. I'll uh, let them cure up before I can add some extra glass at the back ends, uh, uh, because that was not going to happen without moving all the other glass. So. Uh, so, destructive projects, that's more fun, so I'm going to continue what I started yesterday and just remove that thing, and uh, I'll enjoy it a lot. <laughs>